For more, make sure to check out my Patreon where you can get access to full-length album reviews and also you can get me to react to anything of your choice. Check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Pink Metalhead. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am excited because I'm going to be reacting to a band that I've never reacted to before and I've never heard of them either. And they are called Fortunate Youth and the song is Burn One and this is the audio tree version. Uh, yeah, so this should be really interesting. Shout out to Al, my Patreon member, for requesting this song. If you guys want to see me react to anything, just like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And feel free to follow my Patreon. Um, I have a lot of great stuff on there. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, move into another song, guys.
Sometimes we kind of change instruments in the middle of the song. All right. <laughs> that, we didn't know how to handle that one. Anymore. No, that was great, man. I, I don't even know. I'm shook. I'm just still trying to process. I, I wasn't expect. I should have known because when I saw the Seth Rogen, the roster Seth Rogen, I should have knew like what was about to happen. But it didn't process. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I saw the dude with the shirt off on the drums and I was like okay usually when dudes with their shirt off on the drums they're ready to do something super thrashy like hey, you know they need to take their shirt off because <laughs> my hair just come out they need to take off their shirt because they're about to you know like you know what I'm saying like freaking Lars and Metallica or something they know they about to <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking like okay even though this guy has dreads I'm like maybe on their they're on something like corn stuff you know but wow Wow. And then you got freaking this dude that looks like he's supposed to be in Limp Biscuit or something comes out and he starts like singing like and like Patswa and, and wow. I don't even know what to say. That wow, okay. See, alright. I feel like there's a difference between cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation, right? Y'all remember that song? Uh, I forgot who it was by, but it was called Rude. And it was like, why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? It was like this pop song, you know, and it was like this Canadian group and something like that. I'll, I'll try to remember the name or whatever. But it was like this song on the top 100 and whatnot. And honestly, I, I'm not saying they were cultural appropriating or whatever, but they were, it was a little bit tacky, you know, a little bit tacky. They, they kind of reminded me of like when you eat jerk chicken once and then you just put together like a weak, you know, cover band, weak reggae cover band. But this band, like you could tell, like they did their research. You could tell they appreciate the culture. You could tell that they've been listening to their Bob Marley, then the Whalers, there. You know, the, you could tell they did their research because everything, it just came together so nicely. All the elements of reggae were in there. You know what I'm saying? I was just so surprised at like the pronunciation, the cadence, the pronunciation, the the lyricism, the the the, the pot, the pots. Well, that because usually when you get bands that aren't Jamaican that try to do reggae they usually don't get the accent right and it you know what I mean but I feel like they did a really great job and I'm just really shocked I feel like I'm rambling but damn that was wow I'm still processing like Seth Rogen and dude from Lip Biscuit like and Lars 2.0 like <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Wow. I gotta tell. I gotta show my mom. You know, see if she likes it. But you guys, join me react some more from this band. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next Also, feel free to follow me on my social media, including Instagram, where my handle is at Pink Metalhead. You can like my pictures, leave a comment, hit me up in the DMs, request songs, music. So yeah, follow me.